And we are back from the break and looking forward for the fourth title fight. Uh, so we, we have results from uh, marshals. So Artem, Artem Gorinov wins uh, this fight. Yeah, the result stays the same, so there are no changes. And the next fight will be between uh, two beautiful women. Actually, Michael, what do you think about women participating in uh, such kind of sport as historical medieval battle? I know. I, I know that in Israel there are a lot of women that are actively participating in HMB. So, what do you think about the should women do this? Uh, how, how, how do you, like, what is your opinion on this? First of all, we have very great fighter Ira Ragazovsky. So, uh, she's in, in a very high level, but uh, she met every girl who fights today. So, no, no interesting fight for her. And uh, they will meet each other at uh, Battle of the Nations X. But, but as, uh, as, as we see, the uh, woman fights is very impressive, because... Uh, Just to interrupt you, we have a first fighter going to the list, and this is uh, Marina Golovina from Club Tver, Russia. As, as, as she said, uh, she, she trains by, by herself now. And uh, all techniques that she working now, she find it by his by herself. She putting bandana that her hair not uh, disturb her during the fight. Gr girls are always girls. Yeah. So some beauty beauty part. Uh, we, are, uh, we, we are spectators, as you see the fog on the list. As a fighter, I say it's very hard to fight when uh, the fog... It's, it's uh, uh, dry your mouth during the seconds. There is an additional challenge. Try to find your opponent in the fog. And we have uh, Alena Anissimo going to the list. It's also from Russia, from Club Bayard. Bayard, yes. As they love to, uh, their, their mojo is Bayard is a champion. For today, uh, Sevala Vlasov showed that he's a champion, and now we will see if uh, Alona also is a champion. And she could uh, fight and win Marina Galavina, that uh, for now have a second place in uh, WNFC rating, medieval international rating. Payar showed really good results, actually, last time. Okay, uh, thank you very much to Sergei Tkachev. We will uh, solve this issue right now. Sergei Tkachev, uh, ask, ask for us, please, uh, if uh, you uh, see, you, you look for the stream from, you look for a stream from uh, VK or another uh, social network. Wow, wow, wow. So the first fight begins, and there is, as we can see, both fighters are really active. And uh, keeping in mind that uh, they are wearing the same armor as men, so the weight of the armor is pretty much the same. It is really surprising that uh, they have so much stamina, so much strength. They, they, they start in a very huge speed, so I'm not sure that it's okay for them to hold. They, they're fighting two round, uh, three rounds by two minutes. Three minutes. Three, also? Three minutes, yes, I think so. Uh, we'll see in... 
Yeah, they're fighting. Wow, I'm not sure that they hold this uh, kind of temp. But you, very, very, very good thing from uh, Marina Galavina with a leg and then strike to the head. Pretty nice. So both Alina, Alena and Marina, they are both members of the uh, top uh, Russian 5 vs 5 women's team, Katusha. So they are really good friends and, and partners, uh, team partners. But still they have to determine who is the best. Okay, now, now the stream starts to work again. Okay. Thank you, sir, Sergey, that you show us. Marina Glavina have a very uh, good uh, grappling uh, background because she fought in WWE before, and uh, uh, she also very have good uh, fencing techniques. But as I know, they meet each other a lot in a in a boohurts. But in pro fights, almost yes, they both rare. fights actually in Bugard, so the main, mainly background. They both from Bugard. Oh, 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 wow. Very nice. And, and she, she, she didn't rest. She already start to fight and uh, keep back the, the strikes. As you said, Marina has a really Whoa. good wrestling skills, but I saw a video of Aleona and she's doing really hard training also in, yeah. in striking, in wrestling, so I think the strength of this tour opponent is comparable. Oh, oh. For now, who, who will stand up? Uh, Marina tries to make a throw, but uh, Marshall says break. Her feet. Marshall says breaks. Van Vasiliev, referee on the list, uh, invites both fighters to, to the center of the list just to avoid possible injuries. It's really dangerous when the fighters are hanging out on the chains. It's really hard to control the condition of the fighters. Therefore, uh, the responsibility of the uh, main judge should do not allow such situation to happen. Uh, both are asking us who will fight later. Uh, for now, we have fight of uh, women. Uh, Marina Galavina versus Alena Anisimova. After them, uh, Ilya Dragon uh, versus Vyacheslav Mishurin. And the last fight is uh, Alexei Petrik versus Maxim Naiza for uh, title fight. Just to remind to our viewers, this is the title fight, so the uh, girls are fighting for for the uh, for the title. So also? actually, this, this, the, the stakes are really high for them. Oh. Sorry for freezing in the uh, in the comments, because we're also looking this fight. It's 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 like it looks huge. It is really exciting because just because uh, the women in uh, HMB actually shows the same kind of determination, same kind of courage, and same kind of strength as the men. Very very good stamina for both girls. 
second round, middle of the second round and they keep their speed. Marina, Marina Gavina in red charge her uh, sword but not striking. She can, comes to grab the Alona in a white coat. Boom. And the takedown. I think it goes to Marina. To Marina. But Al Alona uh, on the ground and hold her. And Alona performs this holding uh, to not allow Marina to stand and uh, land uh, this. Hits on lying opponent. And in, in this position, very good to just to press on, on your opponent and to, on the ground with your mass to, to, to get him tired. And, 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 she, and she continue to strike, to press. She's working as a, as a first number. This is the second round, almost end of it, and still they have a lot of uh, strength, still. So really good stamina. If yes. you can remember the uh, the armor is waiting like 20 something kilos. I, I, I don't know if you see on the, on the stream but there uh, there is a lot of sparks is uh, flying from uh, swords. So you can imagine the power power of these strikes. Okay. Actually, I'm amazed because I've seen hundreds of fight, fights uh, between men also, and uh, not all the men have such good conditions as these two girls. Yes, that's I say. I'm very surprised they, that they continue to fight in this kind of uh, temp and time. And the second round is over. We are waiting for the third one. And the girls uh, seem okay. So they, 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 they have one more round and that's it. Wow. It's, it's also awesome fight. It's very, very high level. I agree with you that it's a level of go good, good guys competition. So we, we have a funny comment from the announcer that uh, these two girls, we will have an International Women's Day on 8th of March and these two girls will uh, celebrate it in their own way. So they're going to Prague and will help, they will have fights there. So it's a good way to celebrate, don't, don't you think, Mikhail? Yeah, uh, it, the Prague will be Prague Falchon. It's a very famous in our, uh, in our sport uh, tournament. Like four for five years they're doing this also in the uh, eighth of March. So it's like an international boomer day. <laughs> Woman international boomer day. <laughs> Third, third round. Wow. So third round and no signs of fatigue. Fans of Alona calling to her continue to strike, to strike, to strike and she continue. She don't stop. Okay. We have fans for both our girls here. Some of them cheer for Marina, some of them cheer for Alona. Marina! Okay, they start, break. Van Vassili breaks the clinch. Quick reminder, you can't stay in the clinch longer for than 10 seconds being idle. And the takedown.
she, she, slide on, she slide on the floor with a leg and she couldn't continue the, the throw. Oh, oh, oh. Still third round, they still managed to get on their feet. They, they, this, is, they, this is really exhausting. Yeah, yes, very, very, very good stamina, awesome stamina. I, I will ask after tournament how to, how to train this kind of stamina. Okay. It looks like Marina a little bit tired. Just a little bit. Yes. My 6667 is also a fan of Marina. Oh no. Ah, she, uh, okay. Uh, why Marshall stop? Uh, Stop the Alone, the, don't give, give her to fight uh, Marina. Co so Ivan Vasiliev referee had to interfere because Alona grabbed the list, and that which is not allowed. We have a uh, half minute and that's it. So we have only 30 seconds left. Alona takes this round. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. Conti wow. She continued to, to, to strike, to strike, to strike. Yes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes without interruption. We're done. Wow, it's, it's, this fight was awesome. Nine, nine minutes of clear fight. So guys, write in the comments who you're thinking who win this fight. So I bet this fight was the answer to the question of those who are asking, should the woman do this? Can they do this? They definitely can. Look, 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 look at Marina. She, she could dance now. Wow. Alona, Alona, for, for today, make, make this show. So now we're waiting for the decisions from the judges and referees. We're waiting for it. 41, 45 in this fight. The winner is Alona Anisimova. Bayard is really champion today. So 45 to 41. Again, a really close fight. Awesome, awesome. So, girls uh, leaves uh, the list and we are waiting for the next fight. Maria Gurtsova says Bayard is the champion. Yeah, for today they, they are champion. Last week they also had been champions. Yes. <laughs> in the prime. I wonder if they're going to continue because uh, next fight will be between Ilya Dragon 
who is also from Bayard Club. Versus Vyacheslav Mishurin, that's uh, from uh, Russian Orden. Yes, so it will be Ilya Dragon. 